For many at music festivals, it's not just about the music, but the whole experience. As a 19-year-old, Dave Griffiths was keen to sample the Glastonbury Festival. But the teenage kicks he was looking for turned out to be surprisingly spiritual. A friend of mine and I got tickets for Glastonbury Festival. First time I'd ever been to a big festival. We were really excited. Um, but I was really thrilled to see on the programme one of my favourite artists was playing. And uh, I went to see um, Eric Bibb. I will walk across a burning desert Bearing water to quench your thirst He, in his music, was worshipping in a way that I'd not really ever seen before. And what I saw that he had, I knew I wanted. He had a connection with God that I didn't have at that point. And being that this was a festival, a mainstream festival, not a Christian event, I wasn't expecting to see that. Um, and I think it really inspired me. It was something that I'd, I wanted to achieve myself. I wanted to, to be a musician and I wanted to be in an environment where I could take God's presence. And I, I really felt God's presence at that place, uh, out of the blue. But you can't take the weight that I can carry anymore. I wanted to be a musician that would stand in places that maybe weren't church environments and be, be so bold and secure in my faith to just worship wherever I go. And that really, that's what I do for a living now. Music is so powerful. And when you marry your faith and your, your love for God with music, I think as long as that's true and you're not pretending, people will listen. What's really more important to you, God or your music? God gave me the music in the first place. So to give it back to him is, is all I can do. Um, sounds kind of cheesy, but that's, that's definitely the case. God, God is everything to me. I, I don't get it right all the time, but God's grace lifts me back up and I just want, I want to go after that. I want, to, I want as much of God as I can get in my life.